Hello there, everybody. This is Alex from Hardcore and Guide, speaking my guide for The Darkness 2 on Dawn Difficulty. Today we're doing Mission 11, Level 11, which is going to be the last stand. So this entire level is going to be a boss fight based level. And I would say Victor is actually, strangely enough, not as hard as Bragg or whatever his name was. So he's a little less hard. But luckily for us, we get to pick what guns we get to start off with. So, you grab whatever you feel comfortable with. That's the best thing I can tell you. If you want to, you can use the, the old school trick of doing like um, two submachine guns for the gun channeling technique. So that way you can get more bang for your buck from that, I would say. I definitely feel like the, uh, the dual wield uh, submachine gun stuff works wonders. But you do run out of ammo faster if you're just running that type of thing. But of course, gun channeling gives you infinite ammo regardless. But hey... Uh, shields are going to be a pretty big friend in this fight. Uh, my best tip for Victor himself is just do what you normally would do and just, you know, whenever he spawns, just snap in and just blast him with whatever you've got. Oh, Swarm. Swarm, yes. I, I tried it out in this fight and it worked wonders on him. It stunned him and that was uh, something that came in handy. If you knock him down to half health, at half health, you get a checkpoint. So don't feel bad if you get to the half health mark and you, you die. Um, try to get him at least to under half health. So that way you could be on the safe side. And then you can take advantage of the checkpoint system if you want to. I would explain that one again, but I just don't feel like it. Also, yes, you can whip the... Uh, you can whip, uh, you know, the shots that he's doing right there um the side shots and the vertical white i should have cut this a little shorter this is a lot of fucking uh video that's just unneeded because i'm just gonna die so yeah i guess you guys are gonna see more of me being stupid i guess um or i could just give a little bit more tips he doesn't always send out enemies unless wait a minute maybe the enemies oh who cares he doesn't always send out a wave enemy, so sometimes you might get lucky, sometimes you might not. If you stay on his ass for the most part, for the boss fight, he sh probably won't send out too many waves at you. If he does send out waves, that's good, because then you get some hearts back, you know? So, it's not that bad. You get some points out of it, so... Why not? But I think this one right here, I think this wave might be a mandatory wave. I think so. I'm not 100% sure on that. I, I can't test it, whether or not it's true or not. I just, I feel like it's possible that it could be the case. Uh, but yeah, I do die, but yeah, the shield thing is really nice, especially for when he's starting to shoot out his dark balls. So that way you can kind of just take a little less damage from that splash. Just a little bit. I, I feel like they have splash damage. It doesn't look like they, they, look like they do. But yeah, eventually I did die, and, uh, I suck, so. Yeah, I guess that wasn't a bad cut. Alright. Wasn't too bad of a cut. But he's almost dead. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a really damn fast video. But I'm going to take advantage of my uh, abilities here eventually and just, you know, swarm into gun channel and just blast the fuck out of him. Make sure he just stays the hell dead. You know where he belongs? He belongs back in the trailer for this game. When he pops up and he says, I want the darkness. That's like the most memorable part about the trailer. Still gets me to this day. Because I think it's weird and cringe. But that's just me. So yeah, there you go. Swarm works really well. So <laughs> best advice. That's it. See you guys next time.